In this video, I tried beating Terraria using ranged weapons only, but I installed a mod that allows me to attack using every single weapon stored inside my inventory. Just how crazy will things get? Well, you're about to find out. Alright, let's get started. So getting my first weapon is actually pretty simple. All I need to do is chop down some trees for wood, then I make a workbench, and then voila! Wooden bow. But I don't have any ammo, so the easiest way to get some arrows is to break some pots. So I'm just going to chop down a bit more trees, and then we'll go down to find a cave. Okay, here's some pots here. Okay, we found some arrows inside a chest, and we also got the jagged climbing claws. Alright, here's a cave. Hopefully I can get some more arrows. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, we got the blowpipe. Okay. That does indeed count as a ranged weapon. Wooden boomerang, I will not be counting though. Ooh, okay. Here's a chest. And we got... <gasps> oh my god, yes. Oh, I love it when I get early Hermes boots. Oh, and another one down here too. Wow. Okay, band of regeneration. I will take that. Okay, so we got a pretty good start. Wow, there's actually so many houses here that are so close together. Broken mace. Okay, we will get rid of that. Also, I'm going to try my best not to use any throwables. So grenades, shurikens. But if they do end up being in my inventory and me not knowing, then I will allow that. But I'll try my best to get rid of them whenever I do get them. Flare gun? Okay. It's gonna be pretty useless, but it does count, so might as well use it. And we have our first life crystal here. Oh, that's a lot of topaz. Okay. So we have a hook now. Alright, I should be done with this cave. Let's get out of here. And then we're gonna start building our house so we can store some of our items away. Alright, let's first make our topaz hook. And then I'm going to make as many ranged weapons as possible. Because the more I have, the more projectiles that I can shoot out. So we're going to make the copper bow. The lead bow. As well as the platinum bow. And the silver bow. Alright, so we should be shooting about 5 arrows now. Let's see. There we go. Plus the flare. And what I've noticed is, like, attacking only uses up the first slot in the ammunition. So anything under it, it will not be used. So the flare and the flaming arrows will not be used. Okay, and then we're going to make our platinum pickaxe. As well as some armor. So we'll do the platinum chainmail and the silver helmet. Okay, now let's go to the jungle and try to find ourselves some more life crystals. As well as some accessories. But I think... First, I'm going to go to down this corruption and then try to get our musket. Because that's going to add a lot of damage to our DPS. Okay, there we go. Got the musket with 100 musket balls. Unfortunately though, attacking does use up the balls. But once I get the arm sealer, that shouldn't be a problem. I can always just buy more. Ooh, okay, we got the boomstick. Got the anklet of the wind as well. So if we get our egglet, then we could make lightning boots later on. What's well, up? Oh, okay, we have 18 rubies now. That means I can upgrade my topaz hook and then make some king slime summons. Got shoe spikes. Okay, we got the suspicious looking eye. I feel like I'm ready to fight the first boss, but kind of want the cloud in a bottle first. So I'm gonna keep searching for a bit longer. If I can't find it, then we'll go. We'll just go up. Okay, that brings us to 260 health now. Okay, and here's our last life crystal for max health. Okay, let's build some more NPC houses so I can get the arms dealer to arrive. And let's also upgrade our topaz hook to the ruby hook. And then we're going to make silver greaves. There we go. Okay, I was going to summon the Ad Cthulhu, but seeing that it is now daytime, I'm going to go up to some sky islands to get some more accessories, which is going to improve mobility for the next boss. Okay, here's our first Sky Island, and we got the shiny red balloon. Perfect. And here's our second one. Oh, and the merchant has arrived. Star Fury. Okay, we're not going to be using that. And this should be our last one. 
The lucky horseshoe. Alright. Let's go back home. And then let's buy a bunch of arrows from him. Because we're kind of running out. There we go. About 3,000. Alright, it is now nighttime, so let's start up the first boss fight, the Eye of Cthulhu. 3, 2, 1. And this should end pretty quickly. Although my arrows don't do a lot of damage because my bows are pretty weak. Okay, second phase already. A thousand more health. Alright, perfect. We're done. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Now we have the shield of Cthulhu, which means we can now dash. And do I have enough Demonite bars to make the bow? I do. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we got annoying? No, no, no. Let's do another one. Agile. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, now we should be firing six arrows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay, next up is the Eater of Worlds. So let's go to the corruption again. Okay, the arena is now complete. So let's break two more shadow orbs. There we go. Okay, the fire damage is doing a lot of work. Oh my god, the whole thing is on fire. Okay, let's just heal up. Play it safe. Oh god, get out of there. Okay. Yeah, this thing is shredding. Oh my god. 3,000 health left. Wow, the flare gun actually did so much work. Okay, and you should be... Done. Okay, I'm gonna fight the Eater of Worlds one more time. Because I do want to make sure I have enough materials to make the full shadow armor. As well as the nightmare pickaxe. Ooh, and the goblin army is approaching. That's wonderful. So I don't need to uh, farm goblin scouts anymore. Okay, and it's all done. And then let's quickly make our shadow armor. And our nightmare pickaxe. Beautiful. Alright, let's go take care of the goblin army now. And then once I do that, I'm gonna go find the goblin tinkerer. And combine some of my accessories. Oh, I just realized we have the harpoon. Okay, cool. It does count as a ranged weapon. Wait, I can shoot out multiple. What? It's not like I have multiple. I only have one of this thing. Okay, yeah, if I have the harpoon in my main attack slot, then I can only shoot out one at a time. But if I have the bow, then I can shoot out multiple. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, I see another harpoon here. Can I shoot out? Oh! Double the amount. Oh my god. Hey, the goblin army is now defeated. And the arms dealer has arrived. Which means I can add more weapons into my arsenal. So I can get the mini shark. Flintlock pistol. And then we're going to buy a whole bunch of musket balls. There we go. Oh, this is going to get so crazy. Oh my god. Although I do know that my inventory is going to get extremely messy. And I think I'm going to have to replace some of the weaker weapons. Like the copper bow or the wooden bow. But we'll keep everything for now. Okay, but I just realized having so many weapons or so many, um, so many pistols or guns. My musket balls just get depleted so fast. But I know that once I hit hard mode, I can find the wizard, and then I can just make the endless musket pouch. 
Okay, the next boss that I'll be fighting is Skeltron. So I'm going to go to the dungeon right now, build the arena, and then wait until nighttime. And then I guess after I defeat Skeltron, I'll look for the handgun in the locked golden chests. Okay, the arena is now complete. So I just got to wait until nighttime. Okay, it is now nighttime. Let's start it up. Three, two, one. Okay, now this should be insanely fast. Especially now that I have two harpoons. Yeah, look at that. The hands are already dead. Oh my god. Okay. Now this should be the easy bit. Jeez, look at my DPS. Imagine if I had a damage or DPS meter. And you are dead. Oh my god. Okay, we got the cobalt shield as well as the shadow key. Oh, I could get I could get the hellwing bow actually with the shadow key. Okay. There it is. Okay. Now I can leave. Okay, now the last boss I need to fight before I hit hard mode is of course the wall of flesh. So we're gonna go mine down to hell right now. Okay, I've made it to hell. Ooh, and there's two shadow chests right here. Hellwing bow? Unfortunately not, but we'll keep looking. Okay, and we got some obsidian skin potions, so that's gonna make mining hellstone pretty easy. There it is. Oh, that's very strange. Wait, what? The hellwing bow projectiles just stay in one place. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. Well, no, I know it's not supposed to happen, but that's very strange. And they just stay there. They're act they actually don't go away. Oh, no, they do. After a very long time, though. Oh, and here's the voodoo doll. Give me that. Yeah, let's do a bit of mining for some hellstone. And then I can probably make the molten fury after. Okay, that should be good. 202 hellstone. I won't be making the molten armor. I just need the molten pickaxe and also the molten fury. And then we're gonna replace our furnace with the hellforge. Oh, and I can make the phoenix blaster too, yeah. Okay, we'll make the molten fury first, then the pickaxe, and then the phoenix blaster. Ooh, and we got deadly on it. Oh, and the traveling merchant is here, so. Oh, he's selling the revolver. Sure, why not? It's only 10 gold. Okay, but my inventory is getting extremely cluttered, so I think I might start getting rid of some things. Like the wooden bow, the blowpipe. I'm going to keep the flare gun, just because it can act as a light source. I'm going to get rid of the copper bow. And then everything else I'll keep for now. Okay, before I fight the wall of flesh, I'm going to go find the goblin tinkerer. Oh, there he is. Okay, that was actually really quick. Oh no! Oh, that scared me. I thought that boulder would have killed me and the, the tinkerer. Okay, rocket boots, workshop. And I really don't think I need to reforge any of my weapons. Because that would be way too expensive. Okay, specter boots. And then tiger climbing claws. Oh, I wish I had the cloud in a bottle. I'm going to have to search for that later so I can combine the red balloon and then the horseshoe together with it. But yeah, I guess that's it for now. Okay, I've reached the end of the world. Let's drink our potions. And then we're just going to go for this straight away. Because this shouldn't take too long at all. Yep. <laughs> Oh, what the? Look at the health bar. Oh, it's getting shredded. Wow, that only took like 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. All right. We're in hard mode now. And we got the Clockwork Assault Rifle. Another ranged weapon. Beautiful. Now that I'm in hard mode, let's go back to the corruption and break some demon altars to spawn in the hard mode ores. 
And I'm hoping for Adamantite because Titanium is kind of useless. Especially these set effects. Because I won't be going near any monsters for sure with all these ranged weapons. Okay, we have Cobalt, Mithril, and Adamantite. Yes, let's go. Okay, that should be enough Cobalt. Now I can make the Cobalt Pickaxe. And then it's time to mine some Mithril. Okay, 153 Mithril. That should be more than enough for both the Pickaxe and the Anvil. Okay, then Mithril Pickaxe. Ooh, we got Legendary. Doesn't really matter though. And now all we need is Adamantite. Okay, 312 Adamantite. Hopefully that's enough. Make the Adamantite Forge. And then we're going to make the Armor. Adamantite Mask. Breastplate. And then Leggings. Awesome. And we got 25% chance to save ammo. So that's pretty good. Although... <laughs> my musket balls... Uh... Doesn't really matter for that. It's still going down pretty quickly. But thank god they're so cheap. Oh, I could buy the ammo box. There we go. Now we have... What is it? 50% chance to save ammo? Oh no, 45% chance. Because this one gives 20% chance. Okay. Okay, I need some wings. So let's go up to a sky island and kill some wyverns. Okay, here's one. Here's the last one. Okay, we have enough now. I just need some feathers. And then I already have some souls of light in my chest, so then I can make angel wings after. Okay, that should be enough feathers. Ten. And then now I can make angel wings. It is now nighttime, and I'm pretty sure I'm good for the mechanical bosses, so let's do the twins first. Three, two, one. Jesus, I have so many projectiles. Okay, it's about half HP for the Spasmatasm. I'm kind of running low on HP though, so I gotta be careful. Okay, second phase. Okay, that's one down. Second phase for this one now. And you are done. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should have used some potions, but I thought I could save it in case I really needed it. Okay, it's still pretty early on in the night, but I'm going to add the hollowed repeater now into my arsenal. And then we're going to replace the lead bow. And I guess a silver bow as well. There we go. Okay, the next fight. Skeletron Prime. 3, 2, 1. Okay, so half HP now. Okay, it's almost dead. And you are done. Alright. It is 3 a.m. now, so I don't think I'll have enough time to fight the destroyer, so we're gonna wait until the next night. Okay, it is now the next night. Which means we have our last mechanical boss to fight, the destroyer. Let's start it up. Oh my god, that's damage. 
I think it's the Hellwing Bow projectiles that are just shredding it. Because they don't seem to be disappearing after being contacted. Oh, there goes all my NPCs though. Yeah, they don't. Look. They literally pass through the boss. That sound is so satisfying though. Oh my god. Wait, it's already- Wait, I didn't even realize the health bar. Oh my god, it's already dead. Wait, that was crazy. Okay, well. That's all done. Now I'm gonna make the pickaxe axe. And then I'm gonna go start mining some chlorophytes. Oh, there's a bound wizard. Oh, and the plantera bulb. What? Okay, that was very convenient. Okay, now with the crystal ball, I can use it to make the endless quiver and the endless musket pouch. Okay, endless quiver, and then unfortunately the arms dealer died, so I'm gonna have to wait for him to respawn to make the endless musket pouch. Okay, while I wait for the arms dealer to respawn, I'm gonna start making the arena for Plantera. <gasps> Oh my god, the Uzi. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I need the harpoons anymore. Oh yes. Well, I got super lucky. I don't even I don't even know what the drop rate for this thing is. The, the arena is pretty much done. I really don't think I need anything bigger than this, because yeah, I kind of just obliterate bosses now. So before I fight Plantera, I kind of ran out of um, musket balls. So I'm going to go back to buy some more. Okay, endless musket pouch. Now I don't need to worry about running out of ammo. I can shoot to my heart's content. Alright, let's start it up. 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's about to reach second phase. There we go. And I'll shred him back out of here. Oh my god. Heal. Gotta cut fast because I don't have much defense. Oh my god. Okay, we're done. Oh. Okay, and unfortunately, I got the flower pow, so I'm not gonna use that. I was hoping for the magnum, the Venus magnum. But that's alright. I'm pretty strong as I am right now. Okay, our next goal is to go to the temple and destroy Golem. Okay, arena's pretty much all done. All I really need is just this one platform. Yeah, without further ado, let's get this thing on the road. Oh my god, it is getting shredded. Let's try to bring it back to where all the uh, hell bats are. Jesus, that's down. Okay, head's done. Yeah, I don't even need. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa. I don't even need to kill the uh, the arms. All right, we're done. Okay, if I can get a ranged weapon here, it would be so nice. Come on. The heat ray. That is not what I was looking for. You know what? I'm gonna keep summoning the golem. See if I can get one. I don't want to try to get the stinger. Because that's gonna definitely boost our damage up by a lot. Okay, that's done. There we go. Got the stinger. Yep, and I was right. It does not use the stinger bolts. So... Yeah, I have infinite ammo for that one. Might as well just use up all of my power cells to see if I can get the Eye of the Golem. If I do get it, then I can make the Destroyer Emblem, which is going to boost our damage up even further. Okay, 
That was my last power cell. So hopefully, I get the abs golem. If not, it's not that big of a deal. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Actually, wow. The very last one, I was able to get it. Nice. Okay, let's make the Avenger Emblem. And then the Destroyer Emblem. Okay, it is now time to take on the Lunatic Cultist. There we go. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Yeah, all my projectiles are just going to be hitting the wrong clones. Or the, the fake ones. Please. There we go. Okay. Okay, well, that's uh, four clones now. It's getting a bit dangerous here. Only 10,000 health left. Oh my god. Okay, that's five. Oh my god, this is getting hectic. Come on, just kill it quick. Two thousand left. Oh my god, please. Yes! Oh, that's way too close. Okay, well, I'm glad that's over. So, I think the first pillar I'll be taking on is the Vortex one, just so I can get another ranged weapon. Actually, I can get two ranged weapons. The Phantasm, and then also the Vortex Beater. Okay, Vortex pillar is done. And I think I'm dead here, though. Or not. Don't mind me, I just want the, the fragments. Okay, let me get out of here. Okay, the Phantasm and the Vortex Beater. Beautiful. Okay, for these ones, I will reforge just because they're endgame weapons. Oh my god, okay, I will take that. Thank you. Can we get a really good one here as well? Okay, we'll keep Superior. Okay, Nebula Killer is done. Okay, I think for the Moon Lord fight, I'm going to be using the Phantasm. Because, I mean, look at the amount of arrows that come. What the? Look at the arrows. Oh, I'm dead. But the amount of arrows that come out, I, I, like, I haven't used the Phantasm in such a long time, so I don't really know how it really works. But I'm just going to assume that the more projectiles that I have... Um... <laughs> Wait, this is so nuts, what? Yeah, since I have so many bows, I guess it copies all of that, so it shoots out more... Phantom arrows? Wait, even when I'm dead, oh my god, what? Okay, Stardust Killer is done. One left to go. Okay, solar pillar is done. Alright, here we go. And for this fight, I'm going to be using Chlorophyte Bullets, just so I can be more consistent with my damage. Left hand's done. Oh my god. Almost out there. Okay, right hand's done. Now it's just the middle eye. And then the core.
Hey, now it's just the core. Ten thousand more health. Teleport away. Okay, one more heal. All of us. And we're done. Oh my god. Alright, that's going to be it everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Honestly, this mod made me feel like an absolute god when it comes to dealing damage and obliterating everything. But dodging attacks? Uh, not so much. It's kind of crazy how much ammo you really need if you don't have the endless musket pouch or the endless quiver because the 3000 chlorophyte bullets I made, which I used for the last fight, got emptied so fast because of all the guns I had, but nonetheless, it was extremely fun to play. If you guys enjoyed watching, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Peace.